Let's raise your hands and we'll get started here. Yeah. Elizabeth was asked about uh, what kind of today shows about Greg Troy and his program in Florida. Um, I think it's a true testament to how great of a coach he is. Uh, you know, the first three Olympians named happen to be three Gators, so uh, it's it's such an amazing feeling to be a part of that, um, the whole program and what Coach Troy does for us, and he really is the best coach in the world, and it, you know, I'm so fortunate to be able to swim for him, and it's it's not always fun, but um, you know, we make it fun and we work really hard, and it, you know, it's nice that it's all paying off. With Angela on the back. Elizabeth was asked about Stephanie Rice. She's been very dominant in the 400 meter IM and asked about how she will feel about taking her on at the Olympics. Um, it's definitely nerve wracking. Uh, Steph Rice is the best in the world. She has a world record. Um, you know, she's an amazing competitor and I know her coach is just as good as mine. So she's gonna be in good hands, especially going into the Olympics. Uh, it'll, it'll definitely be a good race. I mean, it's not just gonna be her and I, there's a ton more, um, you know, and whoever the best is on that day, then they're gonna win, so, you know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, Rebecca. Okay. Elizabeth has asked about um, what she can improve on and how much faster she might be able to get before London. Um, but, you know, there's always stuff to improve on on a 400 IM. Um, you know, from splits to turns to technique. I, I think the most work I can do is on my fly and breaststroke. Those are my two weak strokes. So, um, you know, hopefully if I get those splits down, I'll be able to go faster. Um, it, you know, it was nice to be able to hit my time that I went last summer tonight. So it's definitely good to have that under my belt. Well, John? Elizabeth was asked about um, the breaststroke leg of the 400 IM and that she's made some progress, but asked about uh, how, much how much progress she's made and to comment on it. Yeah, it, um, you know, I have to thank Chuck and Chuck Bachelor and Greg Troy for that. Um, it's been an ongoing process with my breaststroke. It was pretty messy a few years ago, and um, it's finally coming around. And, you know, the splits aren't completely there yet, but um, I think especially within this pet next month going into the Olympics, we're definitely going to be focusing on breaststroke and trying to improve it. Go with Brent. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One more time, Brent, I'm sorry. <laughs> Elizabeth was asked about what um, Coach Bachelor's influence has been with on her now since so she's been training with Greg Troy down in Florida. Um, it's it's pretty much amazing what him and Coach Troy have done for me. Um, we're sort of like a triangle working together. Um, I talked to Chuck at least like three or four times a week, and uh, you know he was the one who I was talking to tonight before my race because I was so nervous. I knew Coach Troy was busy with other people making the team, but uh, you know I can't thank Chuck enough for what he's done, and he's still definitely a big part of my swimming and I still consider him like one of my coaches so for him to be able to like for me to be able to have him as a coach along with Greg Troy is, is really I'm really lucky. We have a question up front here. Uh, can you talk about the difference between this year's finals and then four years ago? Mm -hmm. how Elizabeth was asked about the difference of finals this year versus Olympic trials four years ago and how she felt differently. Um, I felt exactly the same. I was so nervous. I you know, y you never know what to expect. It's Olympic trials and it's one of the biggest meets of your life and you don't really want to mess up. You don't want to throw away all the hard work you've done. And, um, you know, I think four years ago, I was, I was more of an unexpected person to make the team. So I had really had nothing to lose, but this time I think I had my mindset set where I was like, I have something to lose this year. So I was a little bit more nervous maybe this time around, but um, I think now I can pretty much relax for the rest of the meet, so. We have time for one more question. Elizabeth was asked about Caitlin Leverins. Um, Caitlin said that it'd be really fun to be teammates with Elizabeth in this event, and was asked. To, and Elizabeth was asked to comment on that relationship. 
Um, Caitlin's awesome. Her and I have been competing together since, uh, God, I don't know how long. And, you know, she got fourth in this event, 2008, so I, I know she's very excited to be on the team this year, and she deserves it. Her and uh, Terry McKeever, what they have going down at Cal is, is really amazing, and, you know, I'm so glad that it's her that I'm going to be swimming the four and I am with. I mean, we're pretty good friends, so we'll definitely have fun with it. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth, and congratulations.